Right now, an unofficial health care deadline quickly approaching as we prepare for the cold to settle in. Plus, News 3 now investigates a decades-long push for justice continues as one woman seeks change and apologies. It's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. And thanks for joining us. Charlotte is off tonight on this rainy Thursday across southern Wisconsin. Meteorologist Austin Kopnitsky gives us the word on when things will start to dry, dry out a bit. Oh, and you know it's not going to happen tonight, but we are going to dry things out as soon as tomorrow for a lot of communities. But we're still expecting a lot of cloud cover and that chance to see a few more of those showers passing through your area even tomorrow. Current look at our Doppler track right now shows plenty more of those rain showers making their way through rounds on rounds of rain that we've seen. Thankfully, most of them have been light to moderate showers, but it's also 51 degrees outside right now with the heavy cloud cover and the rain that we've consistently seen. These temperatures have really barely moved here for today. They're barely going to budge for tonight. Temperatures currently in the lower 50s and some upper 40s. Wisconsin Dells and Viroqua right around 48 degrees as of right now, and those wind speeds not too bad, continuing to inch down slowly but surely. Still a little bit breezy in Monroe at about 16 miles per hour. However, now you take a a peek at what we're expecting tonight and it's going to be more rainfall but again tomorrow the rain is going to drop off and then we dry things out for the weekend but what are temperatures looking like for these next few days i'll have a look at that coming up with your extended forecast a little bit later on all right austin austin thank you from rainy wisconsin to the desert where the severely shorthanded packers are trying to hand the arizona cardinals their first loss of the season the packers led 24 14 in the fourth quarter about 12 minutes left but the cardinals have just scored i understand a touchdown so 24 20 extra point on the way aaron Rodgers, by the way a couple of touchdown passes to old reliable randall cobb while missing his top three receivers tonight today's COVID 19 snapshot for wisconsin shows some movement in the right direction the number of counties in the critically high category of transmission has been cut in half from a week ago and three counties are now in the high level of transmission. The FDA expected to grant emergency use authorization for children's sized doses of the Pfizer vaccine as soon as tomorrow, giving that age group access to shots as early as next Wednesday. The CDC also recommending a fourth shot of Pfizer's vaccine or a half shot of Moderna's for those with suppressed immune systems at least six months after getting their third dose. In New York City today, a show of force outside the mayor's residence as thousands of first responders protesting the requirement to get vaccinated. Firefighters, police officers, and other city workers without a first shot by tomorrow will be put on unpaid leave, something union leaders say could put lives at risk. However, Mayor Bill de Blasio is refusing to budge arguing the city has a contingency plan. Halloween, just days away, and getting a shot might not be on the top of your to-do list, but that's the unofficial deadline health experts recommend you to get your flu vaccine. Maddie O'Neill tells us how vaccinators are suggesting a two-for-one. Maddie? Well, now that COVID-19 vaccine boosters are more widely approved, more and more appointments are being booked. That's the case at UW Health, where at all visits to the clinic, they're offering both the COVID booster and the flu shot. Now, getting both shots at once still works, just like when children are vaccinated against multiple things at once, like chicken pox and measles. And beyond that, it's convenient. And a UW Health doctor says that the flu shot is just as important as the COVID shot. We're likely going to have a more prominent flu season this year with less restrictions and kids back in school. But we have no idea what the flu seasons were really going to look like. And the other part is how do you tell the difference between flu and COVID? Doctors say getting both shots prevents that confusion. When it's tough to tell the difference between COVID and the flu, that can delay treatment. Now, flu shots are available for children six months and up, recommended as soon as possible. And again, approval of the COVID-19 vaccine for children five and older is likely on its way. Maddie, thank you. Crime Stoppers offering a $1,000 cash reward for information about a shooting that happened last night along a highway that investigators say was random. It happened on the Highway 151 on-ramp to I-3990. Two people were injured. Police say the suspect vehicle was following closely behind the victims right before the shooting and that suspect vehicle described as a white four-door BMW SUV with a sunroof. A 43-year-old woman and 44-year-old man were hurt in the shooting but their injuries are said to not be life-threatening. Again, Crime Stoppers offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. A 29-year-old man tonight in custody after making a bomb threat to a DeForest business this morning. Police say they were called to a business on Burton Boulevard after it got calls from someone threatening to hurt employees there. And then the same person then called again saying there was a bomb in the building. No bombs or explosives were found during a search of the area, but the suspect was identified 
and then arrested. Jury selection starts Monday in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse. He is the 18-year-old Illinois man accused of killing two people, wounding a third during protests in Kenosha last year. Rittenhouse was 17 at the time. He faces multiple charges, including two homicide counts. The trial is expected to last two or three weeks. Families of the victims in the uh, manual AME church shooting in South Carolina have now settled a suit, a civil suit against the federal government. They accused the FBI of negligence when they allowed a licensed firearms dealer to sell a gun to Dylan Roof, an admitted white nationalist, killed nine people when he opened fire at the historically black church back in June of 2015. Settlements in the lawsuit range from five million to seven and a half million dollars per claimant. This is what the law is about. We cannot bring back those nine victims. We cannot erase the scars that those survivors have. But what we do here today as lawyers and these families is we say we stand on justice. Roof was sentenced to death in 2017 after being convicted on murder and hate crime charges. He is appealing his sentence for a second time after his first appeal was denied in August. A lawsuit settlement has been offered to two of the families who lost, lost loved ones in the same helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant. Like Bryant's widow, Vanessa, the families filed a federal lawsuit after photos of the deceased were leaked by L.A. County first responders. Lawyers have offered $1.25 million each to two of the families due to pictures being leaked. First six months of 2021 logged the largest increase of highway crashes and fatalities in at least 15 years. New data release shows more than 20,000 people died from traffic-related deaths from January to June this year. That represents an 18% increase over 2020, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. New video tonight. Firefighters in Austin, Texas, a daring aerial rescue of two men stuck on a scaffold more than 170 feet in the air this morning. The only way they could reach the stranded workers was from above. The assistant fire chief said the end result was a success with both workers safely on the ground and their rescuers as well. Most sex offenders aren't reported to police. Even then, the vast majority of sexual abuse perpetrators will never go to jail. That's a reality one Richland Center woman knows too well. Madeline O'Neill shares how she's continuing her decades-long fight for justice. In this quiet town, here a bunch of documents. Melissa Trejo wants someone to listen. I'm 43 and I've been investigating this since I was 20 years old. She's taken matters into her own hands. I remember what I was wearing. Fighting for the child she was when she says no one else did. And he confessed to sexual contact with me, you know, um, and I just, I don't understand why nothing was done. From the outside, Treo says her life in Spring Green looked picture perfect. Adopted from Columbia, along with her sister and brother, by a nurse and River Valley School teacher, Mike Hill. He seemed like an amazing guy, but us kids knew what happened <laughs> behind closed doors. Prosecutors charged Hill earlier this year for sexually assaulting Trejo, but her story starts much earlier. Trejo says she first reported Hill sexually abused her to the Spring Green Police Department as early as 1989, but police say they have no such report. Here, it has the date of 325-95. But there is a report from 1995 outlining numerous abuse allegations, including inappropriate touching. In a 1995 interview with a detective, Hill admitted his daughter's leg came in contact with his genitals for about 30 seconds to a minute, saying it was poor judgment. And that's the thing that is shocking is that I have a police report and he clearly admitted to sexual contact with me. Trejo says her adoptive mom stood by Hill. In Sauk County Department of Human Services documents Trejo obtained and shared with us, a therapist believed some kind of situation happened, but Trejo exaggerated it. I think this is the first time I've ever seen this. A CPS assessment recommended care plans that actually limited Trejo's ability to make claims against Hill. Documents show Sauk County DHS closed the 1995 case, and the Spring Green police chief signed off on them. He's since died. Figuratively speaking, um, my adoptive father did the initial stab in the gut. My mother turned the knife. The Spring Green police turned the knife. DHS turned the knife. And it's that turning of the knife that it almost made it unsurvivable. Madison attorney Amy Bogust works mainly with victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. It's a culture where we try to shove things under the table. She says people often don't want to believe a terrible truth, especially if a person is well respected. That makes sexual assault reports and charges rare, even in 2021. 
it's just really difficult. And I think as a, a culture, we need to start really looking into trauma-informed investigations and um, believing victims. In Trejo's case, it took decades of perseverance for her words to cut through the silence. It's really how this all began was Facebook. Following posts describing her experiences with Hill, who was still a teacher in the River Valley District at the time, the Sauk County Sheriff's Office ended up opening a new investigation. That turned up people who claimed Hill sexually abused them, too. And a former student wrote to investigators telling them about what she called Hill's predatory nature. I reviewed all of the reports. Sauk County assigned former Marquette County District Attorney Richard DeFore as a special prosecutor for Hill's case at Trejo's request. He can't speak to why the old investigations halted, but said he felt Hill made admissions back then. And Trejo's reports were consistent. I felt that it clearly was prosecutable or I wouldn't have issued the charges. The charges were significant. Three counts of first-degree sexual assault of a child. But Hill never faced a jury or a verdict. I just felt sick. Trejo's told that in July at age 69, Hill died in his sleep. Despite him passing, you know, my, my goal has not changed, and it's accountability. It's a dark chapter of Trejo's life that may never close. I want somebody to apologize. After all this time, she hopes her words are finally enough to get people to listen. There just has to be changes, you know, and I'm not going away. In Spring Green, Madeline O'Neill, News 3 Now. And after more than 40 years, Hill retired from his teaching position this past year. The River Valley School District says it has no comment on personnel matters such as Hill's. Sauk County investigators say they were happy to assist in the case, but take no position on the original investigation done by the Spring Green PD. The Spring Green police chief says no one currently in the department was around back in 1995 to comment. And we have more details on our website, channel3000.com. Still ahead tonight, the rain continues a little longer, but this weekend looking pretty nice. Meteorologist Austin Kopnitsky has our full forecast. That's up next. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Eligible customers get great offers from GM Financial Plus. No monthly payments for 120 days on all 2021 Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups and get $1,500 cash allowance. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. All right, here we go. Miller in motion. What, wait, is that a baby on the field? It looks like it, Craig. And the defensive linemen are playing peekaboo. I've never seen anything like that before. Harris now appears to be burping the baby. Uh, that's a great moment right there. Ref going to the rule book here. Well, wait a minute. Harris is off to the races. We don't need any more trick plays. Touchdown! But we could all use more ways to save. Are you kidding me? Well, that's got to be a long bus ride home for the defense. Switch the Geico for more ways to save. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. This is Ford Truck Month. Time to take a ride in the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 with an available 12-inch touchscreen, an available interior work surface, and for powerful performance on demand, a class-exclusive available Pro Power onboard mobile generator. These are America's best-selling trucks. This is Ford Truck Month. Inventory levels are coming back up, making Truck Month the time to get an F-150 with 0 for 72 and 1,000 retail order bonus. 
Tomorrow morning, Flamingos taking over Bascom Hill just in time for homecoming. How you can take part in the UW fundraiser hatch from an iconic campus prank. And those rain showers are lingering Friday morning. We're going to time them out. That's tomorrow from 430 to 7. You are watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Welcome back in a video announcement today. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg says his company will now be going by a different name. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Our mission remains the same. It's still about bringing people together. Our apps and their brands, they're not changing either. And we are still the company that designs technology around people. Zuckerberg says the word meta comes from the Greek word beyond and that Facebook has grown beyond anything we could have imagined. At Facebook's headquarters in Menlo Park, California, the logo on the company's sign there also has been officially updated. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden arriving in Rome a short while ago. The two left the White House this afternoon. The president will be having several meetings with foreign leaders, including the G20 summit and a visit with Pope Francis at the Vatican. The president, the second Catholic U.S. president, has met Francis three previous times. This will be his first as president of the United States. Cast member of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills was a victim of a home invasion overnight. Doris uh, Kemsley says she was briefly held at gunpoint when three men broke in and made off with jewelry, handbags, watches, and a significant amount of cash. LAPD says the 45-year-old Kemsley was sleeping along with her three children at the time of that break-in. No injuries reported. There have been no arrests. Starbucks announces it is boosting wages for its U.S. workers. The company said all of its hourly employees will earn at least $15 an hour with an average of nearly $17 an hour by next summer. The hourly rate for workers will vary from $15 to $23 an hour based on tenure and their market. Hard liquor coming back to domestic flights on United Airlines. The carrier planning to begin selling mini bottles of booze on economy flights at least 301 miles in length. Starting November 15th, United Economy passengers have only been able to buy wine and beer for a year now. American and Southwest Airlines are not planning to bring back alcohol sales until at least January. That's when the federal mask mandate is currently expected to end. Well, get ready for a sticker shock if you haven't already. This winter, if you use natural gas to heat your home, and that's a a lot of us. The Energy Information Administration says U.S. households that rely on natural gas for heating will spend an average of $746 to heat their homes this winter. That's up 30% from last winter. Of course, how much you pay also depends on how much you use. Analysts say a cold winter could result in those prices doubling from where they are right now. Well, this Halloween, you can help make trick-or-treating a little safer for all the kids out there. The Teal Pumpkin Project encourages people to put a teal-colored decoration outside their homes on Halloween. That means you are giving out allergy-safe treats. According to the Food Allergy Research and Education Organization, one in 13 children have a food allergy. They can get swelling of the tongue, throat, shortness of breath, wheezing. They can drop their blood pressure. They can go into shock and they can die. Some suggestions for non-food treats include small toys, pencils, and stickers. So let's go to Austin. He's got when we're going to get out of all this rain and also a look ahead to the Halloween trick-or-treating forecast. I do got to say it's looking like a treat here for this Halloween coming up. Rain continuing for tonight, unfortunately. We're going to see a few more showers for tomorrow, but we do look to generally dry things out with just a few showers instead of those on rain showers that turned off every now and again. So it will be a little bit less rain for tomorrow, cooling things down for next week. Temperatures have been in the 50s, but starting on Monday, we're only expecting to reach those highs in the 40s. So get ready for a cool down. Outside right now, still pretty wet, and it does look like the cloud cover is going to stick around even throughout tomorrow. But all the rain chances that we're looking at, we saw plenty of rainfall for today. But even our current Doppler track is really starting to see a reduction in overall rainfall outside. So that's some good news here for us, as we're going to see that as a continuing trend over the next 24, 48 hours. So the Doppler track again still showing more moisture heading in our direction but not as much it does look like the faucet's going to start to cut off here pretty soon but taking a look at our future track still another few showers overnight tonight by the time we reach tomorrow morning most of the shower action is going to be off down to our southeast but for us here locally still that chance to see a passing shower here and there so do keep that in mind but by the time we jump to Saturday we're going to start off the morning with some cloud cover then we're going to see that sunshine breaking loose for the afternoon temperatures will rise back into the 50s 
50s. Saturday looking gorgeous and we're pretty much repeating that on our Sunday as well, but it is going to be a little bit cooler for our Halloween Sunday. Highs are only expected to be in the lower 50s, but looking at our six to 10 day precipitation outlook end of this forecast still looking pretty dry right now and our rain chances significantly drop off after Friday and then they stay low right around 10%. So we're really looking at a lot of overall sunshine in the forecast, but cooler than average temperatures. Almost all of October has been warmer than average, but we're finally starting to see a change here now. And again, as I mentioned, starting on Monday, we have a high of 45 degrees and then we're going to stick with those 40s, even lower 40s at times for quite some time. So it does look like we're really cooling things down. 24 hour temperature change shows some of those cooler temps here just off to our west. But for tomorrow again, we're still looking pretty good to go. Current temperatures also looking pretty good to go as of right now. 51 degrees in the matter area 52 in Janesville still some upper 40s right around Wisconsin Dells and Viroqua right now both at about 48 degrees but those wind speeds really not that bad between around 5 and 15 miles per hour likely going to stay there here for most of tonight but then you factor that in with our wind chills if it drops below 50 degrees that's really when the threshold begins to start seeing those uh, wind chills being affected by the wind so Wisconsin Dells down to about 45 degrees for the actual feels like temp outside once you jump above 50 degrees you don't really see too much of a wind chill. So that's why most of us aren't actually seeing a reduction from our current temperatures outside. Now our extended forecast still looking pretty nice overall here. Sunday for Halloween, lots of sunshine, that high temperature of about 51 degrees. And then we're going to cool things down afterwards. 45 for both Monday and Tuesday, even those lower 40s on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So do keep that in mind. But after we get through those showers tomorrow, we're going to see a lot of sunshine returning and that dry trend looks looks to stick as of right now all the way through the next work week and even through parts of the next weekend. And coming up in sports, the Badger men's hockey team with a tall task of slowing down the second rank Wolverines. Could Wisconsin pull off a huge upset plus an updated score on the Packers? The high note next in sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. What does it mean to fight for what's right? To us, it means helping accident victims get their lives back to normal again. Habish, Habish and Rotier. We fight for what's right. The holidays are doubly important this year. So make your celebrations doubly special with our award-winning cave-aged Murray's cheese. Pick and save. Fresh. Hey, you're right. We can't stop now. Let's take the special up a level with fresh, never-frozen prime beef. Still not special enough? Add some surf to that turf with our sustainably caught seafood. Turn your taste buds up to 11 and have a doubly special holiday with Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake, where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. The 2021 Nissan Rogue, anything but Basic. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models or save up to 4262 on select models. Seeing the joy that people feel when they share a meal with family and friends, that's why we do this. The laughter of kids around the table, the thrill of families driving through for a treat, the delight of not having to cook, and instead, letting us safely serve you. It all comes back to taking care of each other. And for that, we'll be here with your favorites and always a smile. I became an orthopedic surgeon for a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. To help you take walks again. To ease your pain. To rebuild your strength. And at every step along the way. We take the time to answer all your questions. We're here because we care. We care about you. 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 They care about me. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Listening. Healing. Caring. It's in our nature. Just a two. Tower. Redefine laundry in half the space. 
Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. Why not let us take that crippling burden off your back? Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. It's the NFL's biggest game of the season so far. The undefeated Cardinals hosting the 6-1 Packers, who are missing a bunch of weapons. Green Bay's top three wideouts are out, but... No problem for Aaron Rodgers. It's a throwback Thursday for 12. He's connected with Randall Cobb for a pair of touchdowns. Aaron Jones also scored this one in the fourth. Packers up 24 to 21. The gauntlet continues for the Badger men's hockey team. Wisconsin taking on number two Michigan. Scoreless in the second, and that's when the Wolverines go tic-tac-toe. And Kent Johnson lights the lamp to give Michigan a 1-0 lead. It's 3-0 in the third, and Ryder Donovan, well, he's had enough. He gets a little too physical and gets to leave the game early. Badgers fall 3-0 the final. Monticello Volleyball has had a fantastic season. The Ponies enter sectionals 22-1. and How? Well, simple for head coach Rebecca Gustafson. They believe in themselves and each other. And that word believe is something she hopes sticks with her team once the game is done. For the first time since 2014. Nice pass, Macy. I don't think it's hit us quite yet. <laughs> Monticello Volleyball is the regional champion. This year it was really, you know, believing that we can do it and knowing, knowing how good they can really be. But the ponies aren't done yet. They're out to make history. Well, like, yeah, we're regional champions, but let's be sectional champions. Yeah. So we just always have that mentality yeah. to always be better. That mentality. Volleyball starts with Rebecca Gustafson. She always makes us believe in ourselves and the team. And her word of the year, believe. If you believe that you are going to do your job, your teammates are going to do their job, it all comes together. And then you have that confidence. That you can do it. And thanks to Gustafson, that belief. No! Believing in yourself is not just a sport thing. It's, it's a mentality thing. It's something this group will take with them. It's not preparing us for the next game on the court. I mean, she does that, obviously, but she, she wants to see us successful years down the road after we, gra we graduate from high school, college, wherever we go. I guess I kind of look at these kids as all my kids, and I want them to learn more than just volleyball. Nice hit, Jaden. And don't forget to nominate your coach to be our next Coach of the Week. Just head to the sports page on channel3000.com and fill out that nomination form. High school volleyball, McFarland hosting Lake Mills in a sectional semifinal. And the LCATs came out strong in this one. Sydney Newellen finds a hole and fills it for the point. Lake Mills would win the first set, but the home team would respond. McFarland going to set up Ainsley Pennekamp, and she sends one right into your living room. Spartans advance to the sectional finals with a 3-2 win. We're back after this. is a Wisconsin brewmaster. He brews the local craft beer. The beer that washes down the Oktoberfest broth. The broth that pairs with the potato salad. The potato salad that befriends the burger. The burger that tastes like victory. Festival Foods. We are Wisconsin. Celebrating 40 years of winners and readers. It's Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Taste Party. Monday, November 15th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Edgewater. Sample food and drinks. Enjoy music. And meet some of this year's winners. It's Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Taste Party. Monday, November 15th at the Edgewater. Tickets are online now. Presenting sponsor, Woolersheim Winery and Distillery. And supporting sponsors, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and Beef Butter Barbecue. Sleep life got you down? For a price that won't keep you up at night, Denver Mattress has you covered. And during the Veterans Day sale, check out the budget-friendly Summit Firm. Easy on the wallet for only $299.99. Shop our Doctor's Choice lineup and save up to $100. Or purchase any tempur and get a free $300 gift. Plus five years new interest financing and free shipping right to your door. Say goodbye to sleepless nights and shop Denver Mattress today. The easiest way to get the right mattress. 
We all share the same roads, but when an accident happens, we don't always share the same consequences. Big trucks can cause big damage. Injuries can be severe and may require a lifetime of care and compensation. Call Gruber Law Offices today. We have been fighting and winning for people injured by big trucks for more than 30 years. Let us do the same for you. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. This is Ford Truck Month. Time to take a ride in the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 with an available 12-inch touchscreen, an available interior work surface, and for powerful performance on demand, a class-exclusive available Pro Power onboard mobile generator. These are America's best-selling trucks. This is Ford Truck Month. Inventory levels are coming back up, making Truck Month the time to get an F-150 with 0 for 72 and 1,000 retail order bonus. I have worked at HuffCorp for the last 36 years. HuffCorp, closing the plant, moving production to Mexico. I gave my life and my body to that place. Ron Johnson pushed through a tax law that rewards outsourcing. Companies can bring profits back from Mexico tax-free. And worse, Ron Johnson profited personally from outsourcing. He has doubled his wealth since taking office. Tell Ron Johnson to stop putting his profits above our jobs. This is a Wisconsin farmer. She grows the locally sourced freshness, the freshness that complements the wild-caught salmon, the salmon that tees up the cheesecake, the cheesecake that sweetens every moment. Festival Foods. We are Wisconsin. Download the Channel 3000 app today. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. And Austin's back. Final check of the forecast. Yeah, I'm ready to see some sunshine return to the forecast as well. I know a lot of people are, and we're going to see some sunshine on Saturday and Sunday returning. For tomorrow, we're still going to see mostly cloudy skies, unfortunately. A chance of rain, not as much as what we saw here for today, but still a chance to see one or two more of those showers passing through your community. Then for the weekend, we're looking real good with the 50s taking over. A lot of sunshine next week. However, we cool down, and we generally stay in the middle to even lower 40s for quite some some time that is actually below average for one of the first times that we've seen here for most of this month. Austin, thanks. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Have a great Thursday night.